Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we are back with some more of the Elder Scrolls Legend, Battle Spire. Uh, last time, you know, we um, we explored a little bit more of the first level of uh, the Battle Spire. We, uh, we walked around, you know, we explored things, we killed things, uh, it was a fun time. And uh, today we're going to do uh, more of the same. Uh, we did convince this, oh, my finger's on the wrong key, we did convince this little scamp to not uh, attack us, but I do believe his his friends were, will not be so uh, friendly towards us. I, I kind of want to just <laughs> bash him over the head anyways, just to get some experience with the mace, but um, we'll say part of my, my we'll say my morality is, is, is holding me back. Now, last time we did notice there was this button on the wall, so we're going to go ahead and push this and see what, what happens. I heard a click. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so that, that's a okay. So we got like a, a platform, like an elevator. I can go up. All right. Well, I'm gonna uh, fish exploring the ground floor first, and then we will uh, we'll head upward. Uh, did we see this um, potion last time? I don't recall. Etherealness probably did. We're just gonna leave that there. Uh, I see the scamp, and I want to deal with him. Come here, scamp. Where are you? Stop running away from me. Um. You know, I was, uh, I was, I was, I was playing the game, and you know what? I gotta say, I, uh, I was feeling, um, it's not really nostalgic, but, uh, it felt good to be playing a game from, uh, this era again. Why do you keep running from me? Just, just stand still. Do I, should I just let him go? Should, should I? Show of hands, people. Should I, should I let him go? Okay, I didn't see anyone show his, uh, like, lift their hands, so I guess that means I'm supposed to take care of him. My blunt skill increased, so that, that's good. I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Um, but, you know, I was just playing last night, and I was thinking, man, this feels good. It felt nice to be playing a game from uh, this era, from, um, you know, the... Um, from back in, you know, the D Daggerfall era. Because, you know, this game came out right after uh, Daggerfall. If I'm remembering my release order correctly, you know, it went, you know, Arena, Daggerfall, uh, then Battle Spire then Red Guard, and by that point, people were, uh, because Battle Spire and Red Guard were really not well received, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, I wanted, one reason I've seen why is because, you know, these are not, um, they're not, um, you know, open world games. It was a very different experience. People went in expecting one thing, got another, and were very disappointed. Another thing I could see being a reason is, uh, at least with Battle Spire, the game is um, a little bit, uh, we'll say, <laughs> if, if it's possible, seems to be a little bit more janky and a little bit more less polished than uh, Daggerfall was. <laughs> Holy crap, I, I'm not going to get this guy. There we go. Telling blow. How many telling blows do I need to land on this guy? Uh, it, it should be noted that my, my blunt skill is not the best, uh, which is why I'm using it to, you know, earlier on in the game so I can get... Um, some skill ups with it, so I can it can it can become something that will be uh, maybe worth using later on. Uh, I guess we'll just leave that for the time being. Now let me take a look at the uh, the map. All right, I think we've uh, this looks like an area I've been before. Uh, now another thing uh, we'll say I uh, I haven't had a chance to show off. It, it's it's so strange for me because. Um, well, maybe it's not really strange. It's it's something about you know when when, uh, when let's play. There's a bit of a um, yeah. We'll go down that way after we've checked out the upper floor. Um, you know, I I usually feel like there's so much to say, especially in the first uh, episode or the first first we'll say stretch, the first leg of, of a uh, of a let's play. And, you know, I, I don't want to f leave anything out. I feel like everything's just as important. It's important for me to represent the game as much as possible right there in that first, uh, that first part. But, you know, you know, there's so usually so many things to say about a game that they can't really all fit in one part. Oh, what do we got here? Interesting. So how would I get in there? Because I want to get in there. There's a button here as well. What does this do? Oh. I pressed it twice. Did I screw something up? It sounded like it came from over there. I'll try pressing it again. Maybe. Did I open anything up? Huh. 
I'm not sure what that did. Oh, there we go. Jason, if you would have been paying, atten paying attention to what was happening down below, you might have seen that. Ah, there we go. Now we use the button to go back down. Okay. Before I go down there and fight the uh, Dramora, let's go ahead and um, save here. Play three, because we're currently in our third video, third part, and uh, we're in the middle of playing it. This is sort of our our, uh, our working save, the one we'll be using periodically to make sure that we don't die a horrible, horrible death. Um, I would like to speak. Oh yes, it looks like the Dramora would like to have a word with me. I, I would like to have a word with him as well. Um, okay, so you refuse to speak with me. Are you going to attack me? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I, I like to, uh, I really like looking at, we'll say, the mechanics in, in the game, um, you know, like in the first episode or so. And, actually, you know, this is a great time to try, uh, try something. We've got, uh, one mechanic I hadn't really played around with was the special moves mechanic. And I pushed the wrong button for it. There we go. Which allows me to duck and ram. <laughs> I don't know what ramming does. I don't even know if that does damage. But if I hold down my special moves button and I hold down, it allows me to crouch. And if I hold it down and I push forward, it allows me to ram my opponents. So I'm like, I, I don't know, is this is what you do when you... I don't want to push an enemy into, like... Actually, yeah, would you use that to push an enemy into, like, lava or something? To me, that, what the heck? I'm getting hit hard here. It looks like there's another enemy over there on the... It looks like he's stuck at the ground. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to uh, not die and beat him. Uh, I'm, I'm using, we'll say, a less than ideal weapon. Uh, so that's gonna make things a take a little bit longer, but... Uh, yeah, I, I was... Uh, I wanted to, wanted to show that off because I'm not sure what... Um, Oh, what extent, uh, to what extent that will be useful, you know, um, uh, crouching, I don't know if maybe I'll need to get into a, a low area, um, you know, I guess it's kind of uh, keeping in with, um, Daggerfall's, uh, sort of separation be uh, between sneaking and, um, sneaking and crouching, uh, you know, and coming in on Morrowind, uh, to me, you know, uh, sneaking and crouching were always, uh, they always went together. They were, they were, they were sort of the same thing. I'm gonna die, I need to switch to a better weapon. There we go. I can take him out with a long blade. There we go. Come on, oh, dang! Come on, I, I, like, if I, if I was having a hard time with my, my sword, then, yeah, I didn't really have a chance with the, the, um, the mace. But yeah, anyways, um, I should have used, uh, the dote sigil. I wonder if I can use that and get back in, in time. Probably not. All right. Well, and I don't think I can actually hit when I'm in this mode, eh? I'm, I'm ethereal. I just can't do anything. All right. If I talk to him and he starts fighting me, I'm going to end up dead. It's, uh, it's, it's risky. Uh, yeah, I'll continue saying what I was talking about in a second. I'm going to talk to him first. What are you doing here, mortal? Explain yourself. Are you the Vitasha Trinell? He's so well-spoken, and yet he still refers to uh, Yatasha Trinell as the Yatasha Trinell. And you know, it's not just a typo, because the voice actor said it. Unless the voice actor <laughs> was looking at the paper and he said, Okay, it's got the in I guess I'll just say that. And it was a, a, a typo with the initial script, but... Anyways, oh yeah, sure, do you have a message for me? No, I'm not. Do you know if she's nearby? Or, I'm, well, here to help my lord. Do you have any orders for me? That's an interesting idea. I wonder if I could... Can I side with them? Would he buy that story, or would he be like, No, no, you're full of crap. Um... Ah, that's... Uh, see, I don't know that... I don't know how deep the, these... Uh, these uh, dialogue trees go like could I end up you know just ticking him off could this lead me down a different path in all likelihood it's just gonna be like he's gonna be like liar and then he's gonna like try to kill me uh, I'm gonna say no I'm not do you know if she's nearby yeah we'll go with that one so what are you I don't see your badge of service are you one of the battle mages 
Yes, yes I am, and in fairness I should advise you that I'm a mighty powerful one too. Nah, no. Actually no, I'm a student and I'm here for a test, but it seems that's not going to happen now. So if you could just show me how to get out of here, I'll be on my way, thanks. Gee, I must have dropped, dropped it somewhere. Could you give me a new one? <laughs> um. So yeah, he. it seems like he might think that, he might actually think that I'm, uh, huh. Are you one of the battle mages? I'm not sure how I should respond to that. If I say I'm a student, he's probably going to try to kill me. But if I say I dropped it somewhere, can you give me a new one? He'll probably try to kill me as well. But I'm curious. Let's try it. Then you are a fool and shall die like one. <laughs> you wouldn't like to take a bet on that, would you? All right. I figured, I figured that would happen, but if he believed me, <laughs> he's, he still thought I was a fool. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, you just kill yourself with fireballs and stuff. Oh, man, it looks like he's got some pretty cool spells. It would really suck if I were to get hit by one of them. Are you out of magic? Oh, no, he's not out quite yet. Can you uh, fire some over maybe a little bit closer in this direction? Kill this guy, too? <laughs> the battle spire was overrun by the most incompetent <laughs> of invaders. Uh, what have we got? An iron gauntlet. AC2. That's cool. Um, nah, I don't need that. A shirt. I already have a fabulous shirt. I don't need another one. An iron pauldron. Uh, nope. The one I've got is currently better. Although this one is in better condition. Iron pauldron of Lord Methats. That was the name of the, uh, that was the name of the Daedra that I was just speaking to, wasn't it? Of the, uh, Dramora. Hmm. Part of me wants to try putting that on. It's got less armor, but I, I don't know what the, or, of Lord, uh, me, uh Methats, or Methats? Hmm. I don't know ex what that, um, what that would do. Here, let's try putting that there. Let's see how it looks. That's pretty cool. Now, uh, I was, um, and I realized, I'm like, wait a second, you know, some of the uh, items I've got, they have, um, they have magical attributes to them, right? How could I use those magical attributes? That's, that's something that's been bugging me since the last time I was playing. Let me see here. Let's take a look. Normally, you know, I would use, like, the spell book or use item, right? Use item. Special moves. What, maybe if I, um... Let's see, bring up the inventory. That's not the inventory. That's not the inventory either, Jason. Come on, one more try. And I, I screwed up on every subsequent try. Uh, all right, this mace, for example. This ma uh, iron mace of a sure deep biting. If I double click it, nothing happens. Let's hit the, the question mark. Let's see if this uh, gives me any help. Give me a moment. Okay, it says right here, to activate spell casting magical items and potions, double left click on them. To activate skill and attribute enhancing magical items, equip them. So I'm guessing that the mace that I'm using, Assured Deep Biting, is already having its effect applied? Dang, its condition is low, 58%. Um, this is equipped as well, so I'm assuming that anything I can equip is, that has an, a special attribute to it is... Um, of Biter Bitten. Maybe it's a constant effect? Oh! I double clicked on it and the condition went down to 90. Oh! Okay, so I, I have a some sort of frost effect on now. I don't know. Oh, maybe the, maybe by double clicking on the mace, that's, oh, that's when the condition dropped. Okay. Maybe. All right, I'll have to go back and look at the the uh, the video afterwards uh, to see if uh, that is the case. Uh, for the time being, uh, let's go ahead and uh, explore some of the uh, the other parts of the uh, the map. We we were going down one path uh, a bit to the north, actually, from here, and there was a door I wanted to go and uh, take a look inside. So that's uh. That's, uh, we're gonna have to learn exactly how to use that. The, I hate that there's not really like a visual, uh, there's no visual cue. There's nothing that really tells you, uh, hey, you know, um, if you do this, you know, uh, you know, your, your spell was activated or something happened. You have to like, maybe look at the condition of the item. Um, and I guess the condition of the item also acts as the, uh, the, 
Actually, I'll drink that now. You healed 17, you now have 58 out of 60. Yeah, my health was a little bit on the low side. Um, and maybe that's how the, the charges work. It's separate from condition. Or not, sorry, it's not separate from condition like it is in, say, um, Morrowind. Can I, can I grab these? I'm trying to grab the, the potions, but there we go. Potion of Restoration and Potion of Chameleon. Hmm, I wonder, if I were to use Potion of Chameleon, uh, can I bring this along with me? This potion or is um, that, uh, that's going to over encumber me. Restoration, I don't even know what that does. Your spell points have been restored. Oh, okay, that's what that does. Well, that was a waste. That was a waste. I should not have done that. All right, how do I sneak? All right, I had to look up how to sneak. Um, it's control, but I don't seem to notice any difference in my movement speed or anything, so maybe... Uh, I don't even think I have the skill. Maybe that's... why? I'm sorry, I feel like I'm fiddling around a little bit uh, with stuff. Axe, 35. Why is it, why is X uh, look? It's green, right? Huh. Do I even have a stealth right there? Interesting. I hit control and it does not make me sneak. So maybe it's something that only works once in a while. All right. So we have a, a plus one silver arrow. A number of six. Okay, so I've got six of them. Okay, well, that's interesting. It would appear that... Wait, can I... What the crap? I can carry more arrows? Oh, crap. No, get up. Arrows. I can't carry any more stuff. But I can- Oh! Is that a glitch? Plus one silver arrow. Okay, plus- Okay, 22 iron arrow. So, is that- Is that a glitch that I can carry- I can put arrows in my equipped arrows section, but I can't drag them directly into my inventory. And they do ca Yeah, they do take up weight. Interesting. <laughs> iron war acts of assured surprise. It's like, surprise! Um... Well, I guess we'll replace this axe with this axe, because this axe is obviously be What? Oh, let me guess. The arrows are contributing to the extra weight. There we go. That there, and then that there. Alright, and I want this bow. I want to actually start uh, trying out the missile weapons. It's got a weight of two, which is the same weight as one of the, um, sigils. Now, I uh, oh, crap. I did separate the other sigil, right? There was one that- yeah, there we go. Sigil of Entry. I don't want to accidentally use that one. Because these old games are known for, like, their, um... Dead ends, right? Last thing we want is a... A dead end. What do you mean I can't carry any more- oh, that's right, the arrows. <laughs> Alright, put the arrows in the ground, grab the bow. You have no arrows ready. Put it in my inventory, then put the arrows. Dang, that's fiddly. All right, there we go. So we're gonna take a break from the mace a little bit to play around with arrows. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm like, we'll get back to uh, to slaying monsters in just a moment. I just want to fiddle around with that. I'm pretty sure that's a bug that you can um, because let me let me take a look at my character sheet. Um, Character sheet, uh, encumbrance, yeah, 118 over 110, so that's, uh, when you put arrows into your arrow slot, it doesn't, uh, actually calculate your, uh, oh, interesting. Arrow hits. That's an interesting thing, it'll show you if you would hit with your, uh, your bow. That is interesting. So I can just kite this guy along, and arrow hits, arrow hits, arrow hits. Missile skill is increased. Okay, you know, I was honestly expecting... Um, I was honestly expecting, uh, archery to be kind of crap. Uh, you know, I've never really used a whole lot of archery in, uh, like in the previous games. I, I played around with it a little bit in, uh, in Morrowind, but, you know, even... 
Even then, I haven't really used a whole lot of it. There we go. Lined up. Arrow hits. It's, um, not very exciting, admittedly. <laughs> Missile skill has increased. But hey, um, we get, we get, do we get skill ups and stuff? Now, from my, what I understand, I, I tried reading the manual a little bit. The manual is actually a little bit sparse on details, uh, but it does confirm what I believe what I was talking about last time about how, um, you, at the end of the level, after you've cleared it, you get uh, points, kind of like how we uh, built our own class. Uh, when we built our own class, let me see, oh, sweet, iron arrow, I can, oh, that's only a single iron arrow. Wait, wait, so, a minus one iron arrow, that's a number of ten. Why are they heavier? Oh, because there's more of them. But they're all out of the quiver. Oh, okay. I think I get how this works. All right. Uh, let's see here. There's there's another enemy here. I'm sorry, just give me a second. I'm gonna... Okay, you have no more arrows ready. That's fine. Uh, that's the map button. I need, uh, let's see, we have silver arrows and we have these other iron arrows. Put those, we'll ready those and we'll switch back to the, uh, the bow. Uh, so anyways, there was, uh, you know, it, it doesn't explain a whole lot. You get, you get kind of a general idea from what it says in the manual, um, of how, you know, how to play the game. Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, apparently after the, the, the level's over, you get, uh, greeted to basically, you know, the same sort of screen as we had when we created our class. You know, you have the build points and you can, uh, use those to upgrade your character. And you are awarded those based on, uh, your skill increases, uh, from what I understand. So, my thinking is, uh, I have no more arrows ready. Alright. Uh, then I guess we will switch back to the mace. We could also switch over to the, uh, the axe. Nah, we'll use, we'll use, uh, we'll use, uh, the mace. Might, might as well. Might as well use it up. Um, so if my, if, my, if my understanding is correct, by getting skill increases, we will overall get points for us uh, to overall become more powerful uh, between levels. Uh, now, another thing it actually mentioned uh, that I found kind of cool in the um, in the manual, one thing that I mentioned that was cool, was that the um, when whenever you beat the level and you upgrade your character, you know, that class, that build, gets saved and uh, you know, like at the very beginning, we we made a custom class and we saved that. Uh, but a as you go through the game, um, and you know, as we get through to uh, other uh, you know other levels, and we our character becomes stronger, that character gets saved, and we can actually use that character in multiplayer, um, which is something I'm hoping to be able to show off a little bit. I don't know if I'd do like a a full multiplayer playthrough, but at least to show it off, I think would be uh, would be cool. So. Um, you know, I might be able to take this character, uh, as strong as he's gotten, whatever, at, at whatever point in the game, uh, and with someone else and bring him into, uh, multiplayer. I think that would be, um, that'd be, uh, that'd be kind of cool. Alright, what have you got? You've got a steel short bow. I, what is the bow that I have? Is it, uh, not in a sack? Yeah, it's not a, an iron, uh, short bow, one to seven, two to eight. Well, I think that that is, um kind of a no-brainer. Breener. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> Alright, so we'll drop the arrows. We'll drop the iron short bow on the ground. On the ground. Thank you. Uh, pick up the steel short bow. And then re-pick up our arrows. There we go. So we can uh, go back to using missile weapons if we want, or we can keep using our, our, our mace. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and save the game in case something horrible is waiting for me around this corner. Uh, let's take a look at the map. I really like this map. It's very, very cool. One thing I don't like about it, though, is it's not like um, all of the others. You can't double-click on it to leave notes. So... You kind of just have to remember what th where things are like in a game like this where it's very much so about uh, you know there's inventory management you have to scrounge for everything it's not um, 
you know, it's it's like a it's kind of like a roguelike in a way. It's very, uh, very much so with the um, the uh, like just the dungeon experience from uh, the previous Elder Scrolls games thrown into a single uh, game, and I like that. There's uh, there's there's part you know I do like me some some dungeon crawling. Uh, that's something that I enjoy. Um, but it does it definitely has that sort of tension, that sort of feeling. And I think being able to add notes to the map would have been great because, um, you know, if you have to leave stuff behind or you need to know where like the, the healing gems are and all that stuff, you know, you kind of want to be able to um, you kind of want to be able to find those and go back to those. Uh, but without, you know, an actual uh, map, which way, which way do I want to go? I think I've been up this way, right? I'm pretty sure I've been up this way. Yes, we we uh, we sealed the, or we um, linked the anchor again. This way here, I don't believe we went. No, we did not go this way. I don't believe we went. Yeah, I guess that's it's uh, an all right uh, phrasing. I, I do like the areas though. Like like I uh, like I said because you know well I, I don't know if I said it before. I probably didn't say it before. Maybe I said it in my head. Um, you know, one of my problems with the Daggerfall was I felt everything felt very samey. Um, you know, I, it, it's kind of strange. You know, I, I, I near the end I really ragged on it, um, but you know, the other day I actually had a craving and I went back and I played it. It's not, it's not that I hate the game. It's just that you know, it uh, for we'll say a prolonged playthrough where you with no breaks, uh, I, I found it just really got really samey and boring. Um, but you know, there, there's definitely something to it. But I feel like you know, it's with uh, with this approach with Battlespire, because they, uh, a cog of flux capacitation. What's this other, uh, flux, or the other, uh, cog I was carrying? A fang interleaving. Is this just like, um, a magical item that I can just use? Fang interleaving. I should double click on it and see if it has a magical effect. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's uh, let's try that. I'll double click on it. Condition is still 100%. It did nothing. Okay, so I don't know what those are for. See, right now I wish I, I wish I could leave a, a note on the map because I feel like the cog is an important item. Maybe it is, and I'd like to um, sort of make sure I don't forget where that is. Uh, we've got a mace on the ground here. Let's see. Come on. What do we got? And just a plain, normal, iron mace. And in here we've got an iron greave with an AC of three. Well, that's that's a no-brainer. We've, we've got to take that. AC of three. Uh, let's see. What? Oh, it's the arrows, isn't it? It's the stupid arrows. All right, we'll put the arrows in the ground. There we go. And what are these? Iron Pauldron. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to this one. All right, let's put the arrows back in our inventory. This will this will become automatic eventually. I'll be like, all right, I, I know exactly how to how to do this. All right. Um, I like this room. I like the way it's set up. I don't understand it. Like, I don't know why you need all these wooden chairs to sort of sprawl. This is it's like a it's like a <laughs> it's like a, a help group. Uh, it's like uh, I don't know. It's like. Summoners Anonymous. I just can't stop summoning people. I don't know. Um, let's see. Battle Mage? Yeah, maybe Battle Mage is Anonymous. That would be closer. But whatever. 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 Uh, so that looks like an elevator that'll take me up. Because I see a, a, a switch on the side of the wall. Uh, so I want to go this way first. This looks like it'll go up. Okay. Interesting. Oh, is that a... Yeah, I do see a blue gem. Or purple. Purple, blue, blue, purple gem. Oh, this 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 area is set up completely to. Uh, okay, there's a door up there that I want to get to. Is there a, a button around here? Hmm. Uh, so let's see. What does the the gem do for me? Let me see. Nothing, because I'm already at full. Uh, this is a an iron long sword. Yeah, I'll stick with the one I've got for now. 
Uh, what about the chest? The chest has got some daggers and a silver longsword. Not quite as good as what I've got. And uh, the armor's not quite as good as what I've got either. But it's there, you know, in case my stuff breaks and I need to find some backup weapons and stuff. Hey, I can go ahead and use that. Alright, so, uh, I guess we're gonna go up. I'll run, run around back this way. Uh, oh yeah, this one thing I wanted to, to mention. There's actually, a, I'm not sure if there's a, a practical purpose for this, but you can press L to turn off, uh, on and off your lantern. So if I wanted to, like, walk around in, like, the pitch black, um, I could. Uh, I, I don't know if this adds to enemy awareness or anything, um, but I just thought it was, uh, it would be something interesting to point out. I don't know if it has any, uh, effect on actual gameplay or, uh, like I said, I, I, I don't know anything about it. I don't know! Um, can I hit you or are you just bugged into the wall? I think you're just bugged into the wall. Alright, let's hit the button and head on up. Uh, this will bring us up to the upper area. We're gonna fight the scamp. Uh, I'm actually, wait a second, let's try something here. Wrong button, Jason. Urgh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I rammed him and he died. I wonder. Does that, um... Does that do less uh, damage to your, uh, to your gear if you're just ramming the enemy? Like, maybe you do less damage, but... You know, you're ramming them, you know, with your shoulders. Maybe it damages your armor more? I don't know. Uh, let's see, silver helmet. A steel helmet of resolve. I don't know what the effect of that would be. Iron boot. No. So it looks like I'm- oh, what I'm- what I'm carrying with me is better than... Uh, everything that's on the- that, that the scamp was carrying, so... We'll leave it be. We'll leave it be for now. Um... There's another gem over there. Don't really need the gem. I don't really- I'm not using a whole lot of magic. Um... These basically just restore your health or magic. Uh, or is it and or? I don't know. Um, but, you know, right now I don't have a whole lot of spells just yet. Okay, that, that's what that brought up. All right. Um, oh, this is interesting. Oh, maybe I'll hit this. Wait, no. I came up from here, right? What if I hit this button? Um... Okay, I'm scared. Uh, like, I'm not sure how well these puzzles are designed. So it's possible if I push this button while on the, off the plot. Okay, let's. All right, so nothing else is moving. Okay, there we go. And then there's that other button there. Was there anything over here? For, for some reason, I thought there was something over here. No. Okay. Uh, what if I hit this button? Oh, it opens this door. Oh! I know where this leads! We've come around, um... Full circle? Yeah, we came here. We're now down in this area. Oh! Alright, well, we've definitely missed something back here, but that's cool. It's opened up, and now we can go back and forth between these, uh, these areas. Alright, well, you know what? We're gonna have to explore uh, this a little bit more next time, because I'm out of time for uh, today. So if you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, go ahead and leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comments section, and until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.